Hi, my name is Daryl. So one of the most marketed features of the brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon is the new 5K towing capacity of the vehicle. You saw all sorts of splashy Jeep advertisements with the Rubicon pulling like an Airstream and pretty much every YouTube reviewer talked about this feature. Now the reason for the increased towing capacity of the JLU Rubicon has to do with the upgraded rear axle design. They changed to a full float rear axle, which basically means the weight of the vehicle isn't resting on the rear axle shaft. Instead, it's actually resting on the rear axle tube, which basically allows it for increased load and that increased towing capacity of the Rubicon. So you are gonna notice that I don't have a Rubicon. I actually have a Sport S, but we do tow and we tow an A-liner camper that weighs about I don't know, 2,300 pounds fully loaded, but I've always been interested in maybe upgrading our trailer and getting that in increased towing capacity of the Rubicon. So I started digging a little bit and a lot of the owners out there that were looking or had bought a Rubicon and were just wanting to verify that they had the 5K towing capacity, they reached out to Jeep headquarters and Jeep basically told them to go back to their dealer and talk to them about it. And so there was a lot of confusion about whether or not they actually had the 5K towing capacity. So I want to do a little bit of research and dig a little bit deeper. So let's talk about some of the different models of the Rubicon and some of the options that might actually reduce that towing capacity. So I guess let's start with the, the easy part of it. Um, if you've got pretty much a stock Rubicon, either the four cylinder turbo um, or the 3.6 Pentastar, and you got them with the automatic transmission and the 4.1 gears with 33 inch 285 70 17 stock tires, you're probably gonna get the 5K towing capacity. But <laughs> let's say you really wanted the flashy and more expensive Rubicon X, which comes with 35 inch tires. Yep, you lose that 5K towing capacity. So let's say you wanted that powerful Rubicon 392. Nope, you aren't gonna get the 5K towing capacity. Let's say you want the 4xe, so you wanna be able to plug it in and get the extra power. Nope, that doesn't come with the 5K towing capacity. What about some options? Let's say we wanna get a manual transmission on our Rubicon with the V6. Nope, that doesn't get the 5K towing capacity. Well, let's just throw on the Extreme Recon package. That's gonna be great. I'm gonna get the extra gears. I'm gonna get 35 inch tires. That's gotta get the 5K towing capacity. Nope. So you don't get it with that either. either. So but you need to be very careful. So basically any option that you add to your Wrangler, if it involves higher gears or it involves larger diameter tires over the 33 inch tires, you aren't going to get the 5K towing capacity. Don't believe me? Well, just check out the 2024 owner's manual for the Jeep Wrangler. You're gonna go to the towing area and look at the towing specifications and the ratings. And yeah, your 3.6 and the two liter turbo, um, they'll have the 5K towing capacity. But if you notice, they specifically mention that it has to have the 4.1 gears with the 285 70 17 tires, meaning that if you get a Wrangler with higher gears um, or if you get a Wrangler with uh, larger diameter tires, you're not going to get that 5K tow rating. To further back up the information that I'm telling you, I had a really disgruntled owner contact me and she had bought the Rubicon X with the Extreme Recon package and she couldn't get verification that she got the 5K towing rating. Um, and she sent me this little document that outlined the different towing capacities for the different basically uh, specs for the Wranglers. And it showed the different gears that are available to a Wrangler. So any Wrangler that had higher than 4.1 gears, yep, they didn't get the 5K tow rating. Now to add insult to injury, if you actually got a Rubicon, that stock that you haven't upgraded the diameter of the tires and you think you have the 5K tow rating, so you're ready to go out and tow your brand new trailer that you got, well, <laughs> your probably hitch isn't a class three hitch. It's probably a class two hitch. So one of the first things that you're gonna need to do in order to tow that 
bigger campers, you're going to have to take that hitch off and get a class three hitch installed. Now you're going to actually want to look at that hitch just to verify it. So you get in there real close just to see what the weight capacities of that hitch is. You're going to want to verify that just to make sure that you do have a class three hitch because you want to stay safe on the road. Now, what's the first thing that Jeep Wrangler owners do? Um, probably especially Rubicon owners. Well, you got the Rubicon takeoffs, right? So the first thing that they do is they take the tires and wheels that they got on the Rubicon and they throw on 35s or 37s. Now, if you got the extreme uh, recon package, then you probably don't have to worry about that, but you already lost that tow rating anyway. But if you do upgrade those tires to a larger diameter tires, yep, you're gonna lose that tow rating. Now, a lot of Wrangler owners will be like, whatever, you know, I'm just gonna do it anyway. But, you know, let's say you're towing something um, and you have lost that 5K towing rating, and let's say you get in an accident. Well, <laughs> lawyers are gonna get involved, inspectors are gonna get involved. They're gonna look at that tow vehicle, they're gonna look at that Wrangler, and they're gonna know that you made modifications to that vehicle and you lost that tow rating and you were towing overweight. So yeah, you're gonna be at fault and you're probably gonna get sued. Uh, the other thing is if you have any drivetrain issues um, that are caused by towing overweight, um, then when you take your vehicle in for service and to try to get it uh, fixed under warranty, yeah, the dealer might actually deny the warranty claim. Um, so something you need to be very careful with when you're towing um, and you're making upgrades to your Wrangler. So if you did purchase a Rubicon specifically for this 5K tow rating or you're in the market for one, please keep this information in mind. Now, I'm going to be doing an entire towing series uh, with the Jeep Wrangler and my next video is I'm going to be talking about different trailers that can be towed with a Jeep Wrangler and I'm probably going to have some trailers that you haven't even thought about some lightweight trailers that are really great so you're not going to want to miss this so if you did get something from this video if you learned something please like it and yeah also consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the content and I hope to see you in the next one again very soon